I'm Dr. David Wolfson. When it comes to taking care of your asthma, there are three very important points. One, always have your medicine on hand. Two, know how to use your medicines. And three, know how to get help should you need it. We at Children's Community Pediatrics and Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh can help you control your asthma. Here's more information about the importance of controller and rescue medications from asthma specialist Sheen Algela. Let's talk about the difference between controller medications and rescue medications for your asthma. Both of these types of medications are extremely important to have good asthma control. Let's start by looking at a diagram of your airways. This inflamed airway reminds us that asthma is a chronic disease of inflammation. You can see that the airway is swollen, irritated, and red. The swelling and mucus are actually blocking the airway, which is what causes cough and wheezing. This will put you at risk for having an asthma attack. If your asthma is not treated properly, such as with a controller medication, this is how your airways would look every day. In fact, even if you have days where you feel good and don't have problems with your breathing, your airways are inflamed like this. Let's talk about rescue medications first. You may know this as albuterol, but it can also be called by brand names, such as Ventolin, Pro-Air, or perhaps you take Preventol at home. These rescue medications can only treat the symptoms of asthma. Albuterol will work fast to open up your airways so your wheezing and cough gets better. It works in about a few minutes and lasts for about four hours. You would use albuterol as needed when you have an asthma flare-up, for example. However, albuterol isn't going to help with the swelling and mucus that blocks your airways. To reduce the mucus and help with that swelling, you need to take a controller medication. Many of these come in inhaled forms. Some of them even come in pills or as a liquid that you would put in your nebulizer machine. These controller medications work to decrease that mucus and that swelling and irritation in your airways over time. However, to be effective, you need to take your controller medication every day. And what you'll see is a decrease in cough and wheezing and less risk for having asthma flare-ups. In other words, you would have asthma that's well controlled and your airways would look like this, open without mucus or swelling blocking them. Now, it's difficult for parents and children to remember to take their controller medication every day, but this is important because it's the best way that your controller will work. If taken every day, it'll help prevent asthma flare-ups. So remember, you can have well-controlled asthma if you take your controller medication every day and you use your rescue medication as needed for asthma flare-ups. Hi, I'm Linda Earhart with the American Lung Association, Program Manager for Pennsylvania Asthma Partnership. I hope you found these videos helpful. For more information on how to stay healthy and gain control of your asthma, you can visit these websites, chp.edu or paasthma.org.